Top five college towns to retire in. So much fun, so much fun you can have. Also, did you know that in most of these college towns, you can take classes at the colleges if you're a senior for free? Isn't that awesome? Higher learning. Keep learning when you get older. There are also so many, because of the college, there's so many cultural opportunities that can happen there. You've got the theater, you've got music, you've got poetry, you've got everything you could ever want in a college town. There's also such a young spirit to it, isn't there? Young. Keep yourself young. Be surrounded by younger people. College towns have that just all over the place. And most of, not most, but these five that I'm talking about, they all occur in states that are more inexpensive than some of the other ones. When you think of a college town, it doesn't have to be, oh, hi, there's my buddy, Mr. Ronnie Raven. How you doing, bud? They don't have to be in big cities. A college town can go and actually, you know, make a whole city just with their vibe, with their energy, with the money they bring in. So there's so many advantages to college towns that is just amazing. So let's go through five. Which one do you think it's gonna be? Uh, he won't tell me what I want him to tell me. First one let's talk about, Austin, Texas. The University of Texas. Yeah. Now, Texas, huge state, so many things to do. Austin, especially, college town, huge. University of Texas is huge. There's a funky vibe also to Austin. So much music, cultural stuff going on. I was in the music industry for 20 years. Austin is amazing, an amazing music town. Uh, at the University of Texas, if you're 65 and older, you can take, you can audit any class you want at UT for free, free. My God, man, just put on your Prince t-shirt, go in, you're all set. You're all set for the whole day, for the whole month. Uh, also, there are a lot of senior programs in Austin. So in addition to the great vibe you'll get from just being in a college town, tons of senior programs that they promote there. Uh, another one, Bozeman, Montana. I mean, for those of you who don't really mind cold weather, especially in the winter, you know, great small town, great college town. Uh, Montana State is there. Now, my brother lives in Montana. He's been there for, I don't know, 15, 20 years. He was a California transplant to Montana. He loves it. He absolutely loves it. Uh, so many outdoor activities to do. The beauty of nature is all around you in Montana. You've got Glacier National Park. You've got all kinds of stuff going on up there. Also in uh, Montana, there are smaller cities located throughout the state. But if you're looking for a sleepy kind of vibe, okay, maybe consider one of those smaller cities. But again, the college vibe, go to Bozeman. It'll keep you young, guys. It'll keep you young. Another one, Fort Collins, Colorado. Colorado State. Now, I was born pretty close to Fort Collins in Greeley, Colorado. What a great state. What a beautiful state. So, Fort Collins, nature. Obviously, Colorado is absolutely beautiful. National parks, all over the place there. It's also not that far from Denver. So if you have anything that you need from a big city, like where I am right now, I'm not in a college town, but it's totally rural. But it's only like a little over an hour drive to Los Angeles, where my girlfriend is, where I go back and forth all the time. You know, for me, it's like if I am tired of just the quiet, quiet, quiet of the small town, it's an hour drive away to LA, to the big city. Same thing you could have here from Fort Collins to Denver. Get all that stuff that you need from the big city for a couple weeks, you know, or not even a couple weeks. I mean, if you have no place to stay, which I do in LA, I go for a week or two at a time. Go to Denver for the day. 
Go for a couple days. Get all the big city stuff, the vibes, everything, you know, that you need. Then come back to Fort Collins, slower pace, less expensive, and you're surrounded by everything that a college can give you. And again, at Colorado State, this time, if you're 55 and older, you can audit any class you want at Colorado State. Keep learning, guys. Keep learning throughout life. That's what keeps you young, right? And if you're surrounded by all this energy, how can you not feel young? Wow. I mean, just amazing. I would love to. If I didn't have my place here, actually, I was thinking about going to a college town. But I wanted to remain close to my girlfriend who, whose house in Los Angeles. I got a great space. But you know what? College towns, they were on the top of my list. Gainesville, Florida. The University of Florida. Obviously, Florida, so popular for retirees, right? The weather, uh, the no state taxes, I believe, is that right? I believe no state taxes. Uh, so lower taxes in general. Gainesville, Florida, University of Florida. If you know anything about the SEC, um, you know, conference, great sports, especially football, right? I mean, you go to one of those one of those uh, football games on game day, man, when I go to the Rose Bowl, watch my beloved UCLA Bruins, I feel 20 years younger. It's just, it just, everything about a college just brings you back, number one, to your youth, even if you didn't go to college, you know, it brings you back to your youth, but it's just everything, it just reinvigorates you. So, huge football scene, University of Florida, obviously, if you're 60 and older, you can audit free classes at the college. Also, there are many retirement communities in Florida. I mean, as most of you probably already know, right? They're spread all over the place. Combine a, f a retirement community with a college town. Woo, baby. That's it right there, right? So you've got your energy from the younger people. Then if you elect to go to a, a retirement community, you're back among your own age again. It's the best of both worlds. You know, you can talk to younger people about certain things. You can talk to older people about certain things. They might not always overlap. You got the best of both worlds. Uh, the last one that I have is Tucson, Arizona. You talk about good weather. I mean, wow. Tucson is south of Phoenix, and it's usually about 10 degrees cooler than Phoenix. So, you know, it's a little higher up. You're surrounded by beautiful mountains. You got the University of Arizona there. Uh, you've got the Southwestern vibe to it, you know? Great Mexican food. Oh my God. I mean, it's just amazing. Um, culture. The culture in Tucson is also amazing. And just like everything else we've talked about, you're surrounded by young people with great ideas new technology. I mean, everything is just, ideas are just popping left and right, you know, at colleges. Um, so you know what? I mean, for me, one of the best places that I can think of to retire to is a college town. Keep yourself young, guys. Be surrounded by all that good energy. And just remember, as always, we got this.